we finally got you here yes, at KAZ yes. Radio. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And you have this, who is this handsome uh, fella sitting over here to you? Uh, the, right. I know. Minister Charles Dorsey. Amen. Associate Minister. Associate Minister. Yes, yeah. Okay. So is there a relationship here? Is it? Uh, this is my sister-in-law. Yes. Your sister-in-law. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Amen. 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 So now, here's how we do it. Okay. I want our audience to get to know you better before right. we talk about all the great things that are going on at uh, the, the, the Fifth Church of God. Okay. Amen. Amen. Pastor Dorsey. Mm-hmm. How did you come to know Jesus Christ? Well, I came to know him because I gave my life to him when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And I bless his name for that. He saved me when I was young at 16. And does not mean that I didn't stray. Uh-huh. But I continue to follow the Lord. And I'm just so glad that I'm saved and delivered from all the stuff that I was involved in. And so I bless his name because I am saved, and I know him as my personal Savior. Well, c- connect the dots for us. From being saved mm-hmm. to becoming Pastor Dorsey, how did that occur? Well, I have to say that had to been God's divine providence Amen. in my life. Um, I was five years old, and I remember preaching um, on my back porch, hollering and screaming to the neighborhood, telling everyone that they need to be saved. And then from that time all the way up to high school and college, I really, really was not that focused on the Lord. And eventually my life turned around. I came to Cleveland. I met a marvelous gentleman name of Pastor Artis Lawson Dorsey, who became my husband. And um, from there, um, came to the Fifth Church of God and really began to serve God and honor the Lord. And with all of that marvelous work that he had done and impartated into my life, after his passing, I became the senior pastor of the church. So I had been a co-pastor for the church with him for 14 years, and I've been the senior pastor for four years. Wow, wow. I mean, I mean that, that, that's quite a journey, you know. Yes, to, it is. Mm-hmm. Especially to step in the shoes of, of, of your late uh, husband, uh, Pastor Dorsey. That, that took a lot of courage. Yes, a lot of courage. You know. A lot of faith. Yes, yes. A lot of witnesses. Amen. Because I had to have some witnesses. Amen. That would state that I should be doing that. Amen. I know I heard from God. Right. But God gave me six with no. God gave me six witnesses. To you know, that. It, it, isn't that something how God works? Yes. Um, he will call you. He will justify you. Mm-hmm. He will qualify yes, you. Yes, sir. He'll make you holy. Yes, sir. You know, he he, he does all that marvelous. Yes, he does work. On, on our behalf. Mm-hmm. We, we do serve an awesome God. Yes. Now, Amen. Minister Dorsey. Yes, sir. Before we say anything else, tell us how you came to know our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Well, actually, Apostle, I was born into the church, the <laughs> Church of God. Uh, my parents uh, 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 went to the church years ago. My sister, was, my oldest sister, was the first one to go there, and uh, they just, and we just filtered right on in there and grew up there. I got saved probably hmm, back in my early 20s, mm-hmm. and then I strayed away, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. But the Lord uh, saw fit after 25 years to bring me back. And mm-hmm. I've been back, oh, Bobby, about uh, 10 years now, 15 years now. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I became saved, and I thank God for my salvation. My brother, as the pastor said, was the pastor at that time, mm-hmm. and um, we just grew from there. Amen. Pastor, when she became the uh, senior pastor, she told me that the Lord uh, told her that I would be, I'm going to be a minister. Amen. Now I'm a minister. And I, I had to wait now. Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting. Mm-hmm. But the Lord is still dealing with me, and I'm beginning to see it now. And it's getting more and more exciting. Amen. Amen. I mean, you know, it, it, I mean, you all actually come from a, a, a long line. Several yeah. generations right. of, of men and women of God. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, 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 that much I, I do know. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, your brother, you, you're you part of that lineage. Yes, sir. You know, so as, as, as he deals with you, you will be obedient. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yes, sir. Uh, take on what, you yeah. know, uh, already been, as a witness, yes. has already proclaimed. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's right. That's right. Well, tell me about this fabulous church, Fifth Church of God. City of 
Deliverance. I, I, I just put up your website. Yes, sir. And I'm <coughs> loving what I'm seeing. You got so much great uh, information on here. Yes. And location and all that. How did that church, what, now is this a church, a uh, pastor of uh, Victoria, that was started by your your late husband no. or had already been in existence? No, it already been in existence. Okay. So this church has been in existence since 1942. Wow. The founder was the late pastor, Elder Reverend Edward Pearl. So he founded the church. Okay. And um, then, of course, in 1996, and it, it's a powerful church. Yeah. Uh, the church has always ministered to the community, have always fed those who didn't have any food, have always provided clothing. The church has, already, has always been a community type of church Amen. of helping whoever that uh, had need. So that's the kind of church it has been. But it's also been a church that has stayed steady, been involved in preaching and teaching the word of God. Amen. And Amen. so from that point, after he died, my husband became, of course, the senior pastor in 1996. And he kept on, you know, with the word of God. Same ideal thing as far as us working in our community, feeding the homeless. Uh, we have a hot meals ministry. Amen. Uh, we've been doing that, I believe, maybe 11 or 12 years now. Wow. On the first and the third Saturday of each month, we are feeding the homeless and those that really need food. We also have a mirror discussion outreach ministry, which is our alcohol and drug ministry, from 12 to 2. And we just celebrated our 25th uh, anniversary. anniversary. And so, and we still are uh, ministering to our women, to our youth, to our men, and our children. Now, every, every church has uh, a vision. Uh, what's what's the vision for the for the future of your congregation for our church? Mm -hmm. The vision that we had, <laughs> and we still have, yeah. okay, okay, and we still have it. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely want to expand the building. Mm -hmm. uh, we have already have land on the other side, okay, and that was already purchased, and that's ours. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But we definitely want to expand our building. Mm -hmm. um, we also want to educate um, our children and our youth. Um, our aim is to have a facility that mm -hmm. will house the needs that we are addressed with on a daily basis. Because right. our church is right in the heart of the community. And so we deal with those who don't have any clothes, those who don't have any food. We deal with young mothers, with children wow. uh, who are single mothers. Uh, so we really need a facility to be able to do the things that we want to do, really be more community-based, more outreach. That's the goal and the plan. And then also ministering to our neighborhood and our community and also ministering to our young people because they are the future. Amen. You know, that, that, that is such a, uh, a noble calling. I had an opportunity yesterday to have a, um, a lady here who was able to raise over a half a million dollars plus by going out into the community to uh, save, uh, you know, uh, street walkers and, mm -hmm. and prostitutes mm -hmm. and those that are in that sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And she started with nothing. Mm. And it's amazing how God blesses provision when we step out of those four walls and go into our communities. Yes. And begin to, to, to bring in. Mm -hmm. The loss. Yes, it's sir. It's like God compensates yes, us. Yes, sir. For for doing that, yes, you know, sir. Because we're doing it unto Him. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That 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 is that is really awesome. Now, now, brother minister, yes, you sir. called me the other day. <laughs> yes, sir. And I see all these papers. Yes, sir. <laughs> in in front of you. Yes, sir. So why don't you begin to share with us uh, some of the upcoming things that uh, the, the church is going to be involved in over the next few months? Over the next few, well, let's start with our present announcements, and mm -hmm. that is uh, every Wednesday and Thursday we have Bible study. Mm -hmm. But this Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be canceling that Bible study because on Friday we're going to be celebrating our pastor's uh, fourth mm -hmm. uh, anniversary. So Amen. Friday, the November the 13th, we'll be having that uh, program there. And also we'll be uh, having that program uh, Sunday uh, afternoon for the pastor's anniversary, fourth anniversary. Um, then we have, uh, which is our, our speaker for Sunday, will be Apostle Phyllis Carter. S uh, Friday. Oh, that's Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, Apostle Phyllis Carter. Mm -hmm. And we're requesting that we, the members, attend the service, which we should 
and we're inviting guests in the house and we need to be present now Saturday we will be all, uh, again my past the pastor was saying we have what we call a mirror discussion mm -hmm. now this mirror discussion is for people that has been uh, or are alcoholics or addicted addicted mm -hmm. to pro uh, alcohol and drugs right. or whatever and so and anything like that and so that's where we uh, and we have always we've had a lot of success in this yes. because of what God has done mm -hmm. not for what we've done mm -mm. but for what God has done well, 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 well okay let's stop there before you go further mm -hmm. tell us uh, a pastor about this um, what did you call it again you gave it another name mirror, it? mirror discussion mirror outreach mirror discussion mm -hmm. mirror discussion mm -hmm. as in a mirror yes yes as a mirror to tell us about it well, one of our members, Sister Yvonne Clark, 25 years ago, had a vision. And that vision was that she wanted to start a group that would definitely address alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then eventually it expanded to the drugs. And so, of course, it's a mirror. And as we come, and at one point there was some of us that were there, because I was there, there's not that many left that was there. But we would come and look at the mirror and just examine ourselves and see where we are. And so now, after 25 years, they still use the mirror, but now we're more reflecting on ourselves mm -hmm. and realize that we don't have to live like that anymore because the Lord has saved us. And so that organization definitely speaks to the addictive, to those who suffer addiction, and teaches them through the Word of God. We use the 12 steps but we also use the word of God that teaches individuals that they do not have to live like that anymore, but that the Lord is able to deliver and is also able to heal and transform their lives. And we have quite a few people. Uh, the, those of us that, that are there have been transformed. Matter of fact, uh, Pastor Lavelle Henderson, who is our senior associate um, pastor, he had those issues and God delivered him. And now he is the facilitator and the leader of that ministry. Amen. 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 Okay. She share some more with us, uh, uh, Minister Dorsey. And then, and and then uh, Sunday again, we're saying we're going to have the pastor's anniversary, uh, and the anniversary is the fourth pastor's anniversary from Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The speaker for that service will be Pastor Joseph Glover of the Church of God Worship Center in Canton, Ohio. And then again, we have our Bible study every Wednesday. We have our uh, Thursday uh, Bible study for that's in the morning because of people that may work at night mm -hmm. and uh, so then we go if we have our word school every Sunday and uh, Friday we have our men, uh, men and women's ministry uh, voice of praise choir rehearsal we always have a choir you know we gotta <laughs> have our rehearsals <laughs> amen, so amen. that's coming in on Saturdays and then again a hot meal program as the pastor talked about we're gonna have a special dinner for Thanksgiving for those that are in the uh, uh, neighborhood and mm -hmm. in those that are hungry, mm -hmm. the homeless shelters and things of that sort. And uh, then we have uh, coming up on December the 11th, the, uh, we're going to present a, a concert. Fabulous singer is going to be there. Okay. Now, uh, now, 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 you say fabulous singers. Fabulous <laughs> oh, singers. singers. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so everybody that's coming and singing can carry a tune. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> we made sure of that. I made sure I wasn't <laughs> singing. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 And yes, sir. We're gonna make, we're gonna make sure they are gonna be fabulous. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be at the church, of course, and it's be 7 p.m. Now we're looking for donations of ten dollars, and again, we're saying this is a fundraiser. And for information, you can contact myself, uh, and either my wife or myself, at uh, our phone number. And, of course, the pastor is backing us on this. Yes. I know that. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, now, this concert. Yes, sir. Tell me more about it. Why a concert? Well, I think it's that, and we, well, first we thought it was going to be a Christmas concert, but it's going to turn out to be a Hallelujah Shouting concert. Come on. Well, we that's want God. people that's going to receive, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit would have his way. Yes. Well, either way, he's going to have his mm -hmm. way. Right, We're going right. to not going to stick to a program once the Holy Spirit gets started. Okay? Right, right, right. But this concert is going to be, I know we, I actually have never done a concert. I have done, but oh, I'm talking about me. Okay, first But now, so they're the first time here, and so I'm telling you that it's going to be fantastic. Because we prayed about this. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And everyone that comes is going to be blessed. Amen. Wow. Now, now do you have, do you have certain uh, uh, vocalists that are coming that you've invited? Yes. And, and yes, uh, we have several. Matter of fact, 
I think uh, choir will be singing. I think the women's choir will be singing up from our church. Okay. And but the majority of the rest of it will be from the outside. Amen. And Amen. Uh, one young man is this guy is phenomenal. Okay. For to be a young man, I know he's about sixteen years mm -hmm. old. Maybe. Yes, he is. He's about mm -hmm. sixteen years old, and mm -hmm. I'm holding him because he's going to be the one keeping it going. Yes. Okay. It's okay. going to be phenomenal, man. Mm -hmm. You, are, I know you'll be there, and you'll enjoy. It. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about making that concert again. Give me the date so this I can will be, be sure. Uh, December the eleventh. Okay. 2015, it'll be seven. No, this will be on a Friday evening. Oh, Friday evening. Friday mm -hmm. evening. Okay. okay. And uh, it'll be at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. What's that address again? 2182 East 38th Street. 20 Cleveland, Ohio. That's between Central and, and Cedar. Gotcha. In the downtown area. Yes. Downtown area. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, that location uh, is a great location. For, for your church. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's a great location. Um, in your years of, of, of ministry, um, what are some of the things that just really warmed your heart? I mean, what things just put a smile on your face and, and just... Just go ahead. Yeah, you you are about me or the pastor? Both of you can answer, but you, okay. but you well, just jumped up. Well, right I, I, honestly, I, I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. my greatest thrill is like a, I'm a teacher. Okay. And when I see someone get it, mm -hmm. I can't explain it. This is a wonderful feeling to see someone mm -hmm. that has gotten it. And, of course, uh, my wife and I, we have a uh, Bible study in our home on, on right. Thursdays. And one of my greatest thrills is to see someone so right. saved. Monday. Amen. On Mondays. Monday. On Mondays. Yeah, Mondays at 4 o'clock at mm -hmm. my home. I, Amen. And that whole thing, that whole thing is to have people saved. But when someone is, is in the Bible study say, oh, that light goes off. And they get it. Yeah. That that that's my. That's, that, I can't put words to that one. Wow. That's honestly that's honestly wonderful to me. Oh man, that that I I believe the Bible tells us the angels rejoice. Yes. Yeah. When when one is when one. That's saved, right. That's right. My mm -hmm. Lord said. How about you, Pastor? I'm excited um, when we minister the word, not just minister the word, but also the fact that we are able to feed individuals you know we also have a continental breakfast on sunday morning too and so individuals do stay but not only do they stay for the natural but they stay for the spiritual amen and they really i would say the ones that we do have i believe that they really enjoy the word of god when i see changes in their lives yes and then from there god calls them to particular areas of ministry and you begin to see the growth Yes. And then they start feeling positive about themselves, right. that they can live better lives. So I think that's the excitement that I also receive. And then when I see our young people really coming right. back to right. our church, yes. we have some young people that we have prayed. And now some of them are coming back Amen. to the church. So I'm Amen. getting excited. Amen. The other excitement I have is blessing babies. <laughs> I enjoy blessing yeah, you, I love the babies, babies yes, yes. And, and welcome them to the world. So yeah. that's the excitement, just Amen. being able to serve the community and Amen. serve the Lord. But I, I, I'm, ex I'm excited also. Now, we don't say city of deliverance for, any, for nothing. That's right. Come on. Now, <laughs> honestly, Come on, we, got some more, we right? see out Come there on, one yes. is at the hospital. Yes. And I've seen them getting ready to pull the plug yes. on one of my brothers. That's right. Mm -hmm. We prayed. That's right. We prayed. Mm -hmm. God brought him back. Come yes. On now. We also had another brother. Yes. He was at the hospital. They were ready to pull the plug on yes. him. He's ready to go. He can really leave. He's going to close right. the casket. That's right. They practically had it closed. The brother's still alive still today. Still alive. We got another deacon in our church right now. Through, I'm not sure who it was. Yeah, throat, throat cancer. Uh, cancer. Okay, mm. cancer. Yes. God healed him. Yes, come mm. on. So we believe in the power of prayer. Amen. We believe in going into prayer. We have done it. And yes. we have seen these people come back. That's yeah. right. God has brought them back. Now, yes. there's no better uh, witness than that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, That's when right. you believe in it, God can do what he says mm -hmm. he's going to do. City of Deliverance. City, City of, of Deliverance. deliverance. Now, now, was City of Deliverance, was, was that name added after the Fifth Church of God? After. My husband uh, is the one that named yeah. that. Yes. Uh, now, now, was your husband anointed in the area of healing? I believe he was. Yes. Okay. I believe he was. Yeah. I really do. People have been healed. And um, even what um, Minister Dorsey has stated, we have had a couple of people in our church who have had cancer. Right. We can honestly right, tell you right. all of them have been healed. Okay. 
They are still walking around. Wow. Mm -hmm. They have been canceled cancer free. Wow. I think it's what three or four. Yeah. At are least. cancer At least. free? Free. That's right. Wow. So so help so help me with this because I want I would definitely want to get this one more time. Yes. In your church, mm -hmm. there has been healing. Yes, sir. Yes. Healings. Yes, sir. And in particular, cancer. Yes, sir. Okay. What do you contribute those healings to? <laughs> Prayer. Fasting. Yeah. Um, laying on of hands. Believing that God is able to heal. Amen. Our church went through a season of serious fasting. I'm not talking yeah. about one, two, or three days. That's right. I believe we went on a 21 day yeah. and some yes, of us a 40 day. Right. Uh, we also had prayer summit also at our church where we were there all night. Mm -hmm. I think it was in February and March. Right. And we were praying. And so, I believe also the people's faith in yes. the fact that they believed yes. that God could heal them and raise them up That's as it. well. So so the scripture is, is true. When it yes, says sir. called upon the elders, Yes, oh, sir. Church, right. Yes, sir. And let them pray for you. That's yes, right. sir. And anoint you with oil, and your sins will be forgiven. Yes, sir. And your healing will take place. That's yes, right. sir. Wow. I Amen. definitely believe that. I know we believe that. That's right. Wow. Amen. That 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 is is truly truly awesome. Well, we have a few more minutes left. Mm. So here's what I want you to do, Pastor. Well, well, we'll we'll start with you, and we'll come back to you. I would like for you to look into you know this this camera here mm -hmm. and share your heart with those who don't know Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and compel them to come and know the God that we also know love and cherish okay well I would like to encourage everyone to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior for if you do not know him, I am a living witness that he can change your life. The Bible let us know that he says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. And not only when we go through life challenges, we need to know that we have the power and the ability to live great lives. And Christ came to give us life and life more abundantly. So I'm asking you, whatever your situation is, and even if you feel down and discouraged, give your life to Jesus. I guarantee you, he will bless you, he'll deliver you, he will strengthen you, and you will have a blessed life. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And my brother? Yes, sir. One more time, give us address of the church, all that important information, the Bible studies, the times, and yes, the dates. All right. The Fifth Church of God City of Deliverance is at 2182 East 38th Street, Cleveland, Ohio. That's 44115. <clears throat> and we have uh, our Sunday school is every Sunday at 915. Sunday service begin at 1045. We have our Wednesday night Bible study at 6.30 p.m. Thursday morning Bible study is at 9.30 a.m. And then, again, we have our Saturday mid, uh, discussion, which is 12 step. It's from 12 uh, p.m. to 2 p.m. We have men and women ministry uh, meeting on every third Friday, 6.30 p.m. Youth night every fourth Friday, 6.30 p.m. And single women's ministry, uh, which is the last Tuesday of each month at 6.30 p.m. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to thank you both, uh, Pastor Victoria and Minister Dorsey's, for coming out and sharing with our KAZ audience. Amen. And now we got to have y'all back. Yes, sir. Yes, yes thank sir. You. We yes, got to have you back uh, to, to share. Uh, you know, some of your heart on some particular things okay. and, and keep Amen. our audience up to yes. date on what's Amen. going on yes. at this right. wonderful church. Um, and of course, my computer will go out right when I try to bring it up. There we go. Fifth Church of God, Amen. City of Deliverance. That's right. Amen. Now, the Fifth Church, I just want to wonder, is that, that don't have anything to do with the book of Revelations, does it? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. No, okay. no right. have nothing to do with Revelation. Okay, because <laughs> you know there was so what, seven churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you guys yeah. said you're the fifth church. I was yeah. wondering if right. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That what was just a name that they were given. I think probably in the older days. I think they gave they by numbers did. or right. something like There's that. Other and they used to yeah. call it you no know, East Thirty Eighth Street. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, well, thank you all. I all love right. you. Jesus yeah. loves you. Thank you. Yeah. And there's thank nothing you. you can do about thank it. You. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Hey, beautiful. Excellent.